May 12, 2008. Referred to the Committee on Foreign Affairs and ordered printed. For what purpose does the gentleman from Michigan rise? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 6022. Clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 6022, a bill to suspend the acquisition of petroleum for the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Dingell, and the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Barton, will each control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Michigan. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days to revise and to extend their remarks and to exclude and to include extraneous material on the bill under consideration. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself two minutes. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, as you know, I have long opposed, the f I've long supported the filling of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and strongly support the Energy Policy Act of 2005 and the provisions there that direct the, attorney, the Secretary of Energy to fill the reserve as expeditiously as practicable to one, one billion barrel capacity authorized by the Energy Policy and Conservation Act. The Energy Policy Act of 2005, however, also requires the, spec the Secretary to time Sprove's acquisitions in a manner that does not incur excessive costs or do not appreciably affect the consumer price of petroleum products. On May 8, I wrote the President urging him to direct the Secretary of Energy not to enter into any new contracts to fill SPRO during the calendar year 2008. This, regrettably, is what the Department of Energy has proposed to do under April 4 solicitation for royalty and kind oil to be delivered between August and December this year. In light of the record cost of oil and the resulting hardship for average Americans, business, businesses, farmers, and the general economy, I believe it would be imprudent for, pro, for DOE to take these barrels off the market. While there is no guarantee that putting this oil onto the market rather than into SPRO will lower prices, even such a modest step uh, could potentially prick the speculative bubble now characterizing oil markets. In 2006, DOE suspended spilling, filling SPRO during the summer driving season, and that is what is appropriate for it to do now. While it is in the discretion of DOE whether or not to enter into new contracts at this time, the administration seems determined to forge ahead. Common sense would say to us not to take the oil off the market at a time of record high prices. Given the administration's apparent determination to pursue this course, the Congress must act, and I support this bill. I reserve the balance the of gentleman time. reserves the balance of his time. The gentleman from Texas. So for what purpose does the gentleman from Texas rise? I rise in opposition to the bill.